All right. Welcome to the stream. The weird yep. stream of us doing another random quote unquote AI browser thing. <laughs> we did uh, we did uh, talk to Transformer and AI Dungeon. And this isn't really like those because it's not text based, but I saw it. Vinny did it, and I thought, hey, this would be cool to do. Yes. It's yes, music. Very cool. The artificial you... AI music extender software. Yes, and uh, you were able to get it to work. I wasn't. <laughs> it took a lot, a lot of grit, a lot of hours, a lot of determination, and just trying over and over and over again. At first, it, it was having trouble because I think a lot of people were just bogging down the site, but it is it is kind of inconsistent. Yes, over the course of a week, week and a half. I managed to get a good number of uh, things through there. I'm not doing this in real time because it takes a long time to generate these on the website. So these are all pre-generated. I made a bunch of songs. Or I put a bunch of songs through it. How it works is that uh, it's MIDI only. You take yep. uh, you take like four seconds, just a little snippet of a song. You put it in. You get to choose what style it's going to base it off of. How like, many styles are there? Ah, uh, I want to say like 12, maybe 15. Oh, cool. Some of them are like uh, The Beatles, Journey, uh, several classical composers like Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, Tchaikovsky, uh, genres like country, bluegrass, jazz. There's a good number of options, and I, I, I mixed them around. I tried to do some that would be uh, interesting to hear. I listened to the first one just to make sure it worked okay. I've not listened to the rest, so I'm mm -hmm. going into these blind. And so am I. Jack has not heard any of them. Yeah. I don't know how weird, how off, how crazy they're going to get. Was it you? Uh, you saw Megalovania. Someone extended with this. Yeah, multiple sometimes, and the and somebody actually like the jazz version of it and yeah. uh, ended up doing like a, a semi-full arrangement of it. Oh, nice. So that was pretty sweet. I saw someone on YouTube extended just jingles in Super Mario Brothers because those are already only a couple seconds anyway. Yeah. Came out strange. I, uh, I imagine. For an example, so let's start. This is a uh, this is a uh, old theme from you know, I a long time ago I was making a an RPG game. Yes. And I had theme music for it. It's gone. It's it's all it's all been deleted. The files were lost, but I still have the 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 music. So I'm going to take this I took this theme that I made for it. I'll play a little bit of the original here. So I took just that snippet, that start of it, and I put it in. And this is what we ended up with for... I wanted to make that Disney style. This is what it put out. Mm -hmm. I can kind of hear it. Yeah. It's like, I get Beauty and the Beast vibes, like, uh, Be Our Guest. A little bit. I was thinking, like, modern Disney, like, uh, Frozen. Uh, is that loud enough, Darian? Go, go, I kind of have to balance it with Jack's voice, because they're in the same, uh, same audio device. Yes, my apologies. I am naturally loud. No, it's just the, the Discord volume level is all. Just making a joke. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. We're doing fine, Darian. This is indeed a perfect occasion for an audio-only stream. It'll be this, and then once we get through these, we're going to try uh, GeoGuessr. Yes. This was the same with the country. I did three versions of each. Fuck. Oh, so it's the singing. This is the voice. I, I guess so.
This is long instrument holds for a country song. Yeah, it's a country. Maybe it's... I can hear it though, kind of. Maybe it's it's like some kind of weird spaghetti western track. It's it's a slow sad country song. Yeah. And one more in the style of the Beatles. All right. With it until the piano scatting. Yeah, that. <laughs> and the the long <laughs> hold <laughs> of <laughs> what was that even a, a wind instrument? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem to know what to do with with that track. It's there aren't a know. huge number of instruments it uses. There's like strings, winds, piano, harp. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm guitar sure. and somebody... bass. I'm sure somebody will improve upon it. Oh, I'm somebody sure it's to... basic technology. Yeah, I'm gonna it, take it... the AI and expand upon it. <laughs> what a fucking that that was uh, that certainly was interesting until like the it just kind of broke down just like. Uh... I took some suggestions from the Discord as well. A couple people requested things. Charles made some requests. Cool. Uh, next one I put through. You remember the Battle Network theme? Yes, we've I heard it many the... times on this stream. Very popular. I took in the, I put in the first couple bars of that. Again, this is one I wanted to hear in Disney style. Speed Disney. Yeah. Sonic has a Disney song. Yeah, it's Disney Sonic. This is the opening intro. Just him singing about life in Mobius. Yeah, fast. <laughs> da, da, da. I figured out how to extend them uh, longer after the first few. So the first several are uh, shorter. And then we'll have some longer ones. Uh, let's try Battle Network Bluegrass. Yes. This one just sounds like a different video game track. It sounds like a J it sounds like some JRPG battle music or something. Yeah, I can hear it. There's not a banjo instrument, so I, it's kind of odd that bluegrass is one of the choices for the musical <laughs> styles. <laughs> also, I tried different orders to operate the the parameters. It kind of seems like no matter what, one of the instruments has to start as the piano. Ah, uh, it has to. I, that's, yeah. That is what I got from it. Uh, Sinatra. That's moder moderately disappointing. But yeah. Okay, Sinatra. swing song. Like New York City yeah. rhythm. Ooh! I liked, I liked where it was going. They, they almost had something there. They were starting something. Has Sinatra ever done any, like, fast songs? I'm sure... He probably. He had a big repertoire. I know like, Barry Manilow. I'm not... I don't have a lot of experience with Sinatra swing. Hello? Yeah, because I, cause I don't... I, I've never... Heard of all his songs are like really slow. Blue Moon, uh, My Way. Like that's that's like the crooner stereotype is that they're always, you know, kind of slow, smooth songs. For back uh, in that era. 
All right. Well, because I, I, a fast Sinatra song, I don't. Anyway, there's probably at least one out there. I don't know. You'd have to look through his uh, his discography. Uh, here's one I thought Charles might like. Let's see if you recognize it. This is uh, I'm gonna put it through in the style of the Beatles. <laughs> It's the Eggman theme. Which is itself based off a Beatles song. Well, I, I can see it. It's going somewhere. It's got like a yeah. bass line. <laughs> bass line. It's the I Am The Eggman. I think is influenced by I Am The Walrus. Is that the song? Yeah. I am uh, the egg man. One of those uh, weird I am the wal- Ringo songs. I am the walrus. Goo goo kajoo. Peace and love, but fuck Mobians. Peace and love, all egg egg creatures, all Let's all try- Mobians will be tossed. Let's try Eggman in the style of Lady Gaga. That was one of the options. All right, let's do it. These ones aren't changing much. It's just pop. It's it's just it's commentary, but not repetitive. You get one riff and then you stick with it. It's driving. And then you get rid of the riff. This is where Lady Gaga sings. <laughs> That's the verse, yeah. How about Journey? Journey? Oh, you have... What is... something. Ooh! <laughs> That's not bad! I don't know how journey it is, but it's a progression. And it just took it away. It just... <laughs> it just went right back again. So <laughs> Damn. It's like you're getting it. It's progressing and they don't step backward. Here's a bizarre one that Charles wanted. Hello, Whipper. The story never begins. Uh, Charles decided he wanted to hear the theme from Cheers. The theme from Cheers. I don't even remember the theme to Cheers. I only know, like, bits of it. But I found a MIDI of it. And I put put in, like, a bit from the start of the first verse. And the style of video games. So here's the theme to Cheers, the video game. Hello, Charles. It's like another one of those shitty Super NES games, like Home Improvement. It's like one of those uh, bad. This Mario is the menu Plus theme. Platformers. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> Except this one's gonna be like uh, this one's gonna be the equivalent of a dating sim. The whole game is just sitting in a bar talking to dudes. Oh God, you're right. This is like Doki Doki Barfly. <laughs> <laughs> You want to play a game where everybody knows your name. <laughs> dating. You gotta keep this so we can do a dating sim in a bar. Yeah. It's still going? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, this might be the time I figured out how to lengthen them. Okay. But it just sounds like an extension of the Cheers theme, not necessarily video game style. Well. Oh, it's, it's back like- again! Yeah. <laughs> I like- I actually like this version! This one worked out. This does sound like a... <laughs> yeah, it's just an extension. 
Hey senpai, you wanna you wanna order a, a surfer on acid? You should put in more. This is great. Uh, it takes a long time to actually make these happen, so these are pre-generated. I yeah. did uh, three of each midi. So I have two other versions of Cheers. This one is in the style of Beethoven. Oh, cool. Beethoven. Beethoven was known for being more bombastic than uh, other classical composers. I don't know how I don't know how bombastic this is. This is during his depressive barfly days. It's Beethoven angrily sitting in a bar, drinking mead. Can't hear the guy at the piano. Sorry, the harpsichord. <laughs> It just sounds like a different extension, is all. Yeah. Be Be Cheers is written by Beethoven for the money. The style might just be a little bit too different. You want me to write a TV theme? What? Do you know me at all? No, I'm pretty sure if you ask him to do that. He's on the keyboard. Yeah. Now, if you ask Beethoven to do that, he'd just say, What? <laughs> it's just... Yeah, rocking Beethoven! <laughs> Killer on the keyboard! This is Beethoven's uh, lounge piano days. That, that was great. I liked how he just it was like... He was like hitting the keyboard really hard. It was, it was fantastic. I love that. Now, Cheers as written by Journey. Ooh. Oh, we got a scale change. This sounds more Beatles, to be honest. <laughs> it's their Beatles fate. We took inspiration for this track for the Beatles. Halfway between Cheers and Journey is the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Journey to the middle of the pub. Okay, now it's sounding more Journey. Doubted him. I wish it wasn't locked in piano. I wish. You know what? Yeah, but at the same time, piano's fine. I can hear the alternate. Oh god! They're mixing it up. <laughs> There's a, a lot of soul in this theme and variation. Beethoven was the first rock star. Beethoven didn't give a shit what his contemporaries thought. Yeah. Yeah. No, but classical is supposed to be calming and like in a chamber orchestra and it's classy music. You no, know, you fuck know, it. Orchestra hits. Loud. You know, epic. <laughs> he was, who was, he was, oh no, man. Yeah, the same guy, the guy who did 1812 Overture. Yeah, Tolkovsky. He he was. I like I like the fact that he's like cannons. We're doing cannons. Bach would uh, write cannons and bells. Bach would write really long, crazy, stupid, fast harpsichord solos into his songs just to uh, prove how good a harpsichord player he was. Yes, yeah, so he was. He was the fucking. Rock he was the star. shredder. He was Bach the shredder. Solo. God. Uh, so this, was, what? So that would make air his uh his version of uh of Metallica's one. Yeah. Does Musenet cost money? No, it is a it's a free open source website. You can go on there and input stuff. It uh it is not very reliable though. It had it took me many tries to get these through successfully. Uh this was another Charles suggestion. I I don't know why, but he gave me the the, the anthem for Greece. Oh. The country, not the musical. Musical okay. Greece, also alright, but this is the country. In the st 
But in com the spirit of combining the two, this is the National Anthem of Greece in Broadway style. kind of hear it, I guess. A little song and yeah. dance number. Yeah, it's like opera. It's got to be better than the opening to Anastasia. Like, that was just singing about how much communism sucked. Communism so sucks, let's sing about it. This legit sounds like a Final Fantasy track. Yeah, I can hear that too. This sounds like a, like a chocobo farm or something. Hey, welcome... Welcome to Corneria. I like swords. Hey, townsfolk, don't go outside of town. Monsters are about. You also get multiple, uh... If you input a song, you get multiple branches. You get, like, four options to choose from before extending it further. Because I didn't want to actually listen to them, I just kept going, you know, one, 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 but... If you wanted to, you could have some level of variation. Oh, it, it, it slowed down. Ooh. Now we're underwater Mario music, and it's, <laughs> it's was, done. That was cool. I gotta, I really gotta try harder with music. I, I wanna have, like, Doom. As like uh da -da, like da, -da, da 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 Yeah, can you imagine how that would go? Just in that in the style of uh, of Mozart. <laughs> Mozart do <laughs> at Doom's Gate do -do 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 by Mozart. It's just in piano, yeah. Yeah. Greece in the style of video games. All right. This is this is the menu theme for the officially sponsored Greece Olympics video game. Circa 1985. Now, the NES and those early ones use their own uh, rather limited sound boards. Yeah. These kind of midis started with the uh, Super NES. What's up? Oh no, what happened at the Olympics 1985? The nuke dropped. It's sad now! It flatlined! <laughs> <laughs> the game flatlined and now we're playing its funeral dirge. Terrible accident at the 1985 Greece Olympics. The game is actually about you playing as a detective trying to find out what the fuck happened at the Greek Olympics. That's that's the twist. Yeah. Is it gonna <laughs> end? The <this> stone. <laughs> <laughs> See the, see, the mini wasn't able to do it, but they're playing the sad piano as somebody's screaming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Vuvuzelas. <laughs> sad kazoo. <laughs> Bring in the drums as the flatline continues. Eventually, you'll tune out the flat line. <laughs> this song must be about the Greek economy. <laughs> the Greek, yeah. I got one. Uh, I got one more Greece in the style right. of good old down south American country. Uh, south of su southern Greece. Let's see how long it takes to go full hoe down. Still just sounds like Final Fantasy music. Yeah. This sounds like some Confederate march music. Yeah, I can hear it. Trying. It is. It 
flatlined again. But God damn it. <laughs> Now, this makes it sound Paper Mario, this music. Aside from the audio glitch. <laughs> the melody always flatlines and the show just has to go on. The keyboardist, the keyboardist keeps falling asleep. Yeah, the keyboardist dies, but the uh, audio, but the show has to go on. <laughs> uh, here's one in the style of Chopin. Chopin. I wanna Chopin? I'm going to play it and I want to see if you recognize it. All right. Oh, yeah! That's good! Chopin, a romantic, a romantic era composer. Mostly piano. And Chopin yet, this is the one that has almost no piano. It's barely there. Hey, Chopin, you want to develop some Egyptian music? Sure, buddy. Awaken, piano men. This is the Pillar Man theme from JoJo, for those of you not as familiar with it. What's a string? What the f- It's getting more- There- It's back! Yeah! <laughs> That's good. Kind of mixing it up, but still string dominated. It hasn't gone full piano. Oh. Oh. What the? <laughs> Did it just switch? It's still not Chopin. Now it's swing. <laughs> or it's lounge music. The pillar men got tired of posing and went to the bar. <laughs> yeah, they met they met Beethoven there. All right, Beethoven let's. The journey. pillar men fell back asleep. <laughs> they woke up, started posing, then went back to sleep, and then the Germans decided to hit the the bar. Let's try Disney pillar men. All right, Disney. What? The Pillar Man's Disney song, if JoJo were a Disney movie. I will become the perfect being. Good. Where do I find the tool? How do I do? Uh, Google MuseNet. And you should get the website. You scroll down, go to the advanced editor, and then you can input... A little four second, a uh, little four second MIDI or so. You do have to cut the MIDI yourself, so you can't input a full length MIDI file. It just kind of lost the melody. Yeah, it's just maybe they're supposed to be singing right now. <laughs> the second time this happened. It just cut to the main characters. We're, we're now yeah. looking at, at Joseph and Caesar doing their happy go lucky training with Lisa Lisa. It's so weird that it's just that it, that you said gets distracted by other stuff with Pillar Man on. It just decides it's done and goes to do something else. Uh, how do I cut MIDI? I use a program called Anvil Studio, which is a free MIDI editor. Lady Gaga Pillar Man. Ooh. Which this one seems fitting, because it's already, you know, use, uses synthesizers and things. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of it's, it's It's syncopating. It's moving the, moving the timing of the beat. What? 
drums, man. Why the pi why is the piano so quiet? I don't. Maybe it's just the setting of the MIDI. Maybe. This almost sounds Spyro esque. Well, it did. Yep. I think it got bored again. It flatlined, it and now it's doing something completely different. It just doesn't know what to do with that. Now it's Chopin! <laughs> Did you get it mixed up? No! <laughs> I mean, guess this is a little happy to be Chopin, but... How bizarre. And cut. Here's a good one. You you should you should recognize this one immediately. This this is in the style of Mozart. <laughs> Champions. Come on. You want me to write what? <laughs> he's just paging. He's driving on that one piano key. Monsters, y'all heard of the champions? <laughs> this is what's going through my head. <laughs> it's just over and over again. <laughs> do, do the verse part! It sounds like an alarm clock loop. It does. This is someone's ringtone. It does so get distracted from this. The Pillar Man theme on the other hand. The champions. Digital monsters. Oh god, I hope the other two aren't like this. <laughs> they're, they're going to be. What's in your heart? It's still going. What? Oh, it did a little piano flare. Digimon theme forever. He's just barely mixing up. He's moving very, very slowly. And cut. And cut. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with this. I'm sorry. You probably want the 64-bit version, Charles. Most generally modern operating systems, modern Windows are 64-bit. Let's try D Disney Digimon. Zoom the suffering. Oh. Well, it's, it's working. It's doing a little something. Yeah, there's variation. It doesn't. It's chaotic variation. It's the main theme is still there though. Yep. Oh, now it's super Spyro. Digimon and Spyro compete for attention. Yeah. The Cheers theme was probably the best one, yes. Yeah, it's a pretty good one to have the Cheers theme. And yep. now for something completely different. Is this Disney? Piano solo! So this is a villain song. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dark reprise of the Digimon theme. Now this sounds like a Castlevania track, and it's over. <laughs> I did not put in any death clock, Charles. Unfortunately. Maybe next time. Digimon Beatles. Beetlemon. Beetlemon. You got Georgemon? You, 
got John Mon, and everyone's favorite Ringo Mon. Kind of the same problem as, uh. Oh! Oh! And it's back. Wait! What? We got a verse! Are the champions? Digimon champions. All right, this is something. This sounds Beatles-esque. Yep. The website says this was intended for people to actually use for inspiration. How many? How many people are, are going to do that, you think? More than we think, probably. Is this, probably this technology zero. eventually going to reach the point that, uh, like, the commercial writers for pop music aren't even going to have to do that anymore? They'll just use AI? Know, Black Eyed Peas made, made a joke about that in one of their music videos where they're like, hey, we have this song you can play. Oh. That was That was the most movement by far of the Digimons. Yeah, it, it evolved rather than sticking on the the asinine Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon, are the champions. Well, Mo Mozart was a very safe composer, to be fair. He, he was no Beethoven. <laughs> of I'm course, the Digimon, the theme song wasn't the only high-quality track in Digimon, you'll remember. Yeah, play it. Beatles style. <laughs> Heard no shortage of this song. Oh. Now it's like somber. Now it's introspective. Everyone says, hey, Digimon. But no one ever says, why, Digimon? <laughs> it's just... This was the shitty insert song that they sprinkled all throughout the Digimon dub. Especially during fight scenes. Yes, at very inappropriate times in fight scenes. Hey Digimon, hey Digimon. Oh, you know what I should have done? I ain't but, gonna panic! Damn, well, that, that, that's something we can do for next time. The one shitty Yu-Gi-Oh insert song that they only used once. Why Digimon? Uh, because it's, it's funny shitty. And we, we did a full watch of it. Yeah. Digimon, Digimon was fun to watch. Oh, it's Is that over. it? No. <laughs> Why'd you stop if you're just gonna keep this key? Don't hit that high note again. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh. I can see it's still in there. Hey, Digimon, yeah. It was it was a somber version of it by the very end. Yeah, it was sad. People, all the Digimon kept dying. Sinatra style. Ooh. It's such a terrible action track. Yeah. Slow it down now. Yeah, this sounds like a Sinatra song. Whoa. Yeah, get the band in. Minimalist Digimon. Trying to listen for the original if it comes back. Hey, Digimon! <laughs> this is Frank Sinatra's happiest song. Oh, hello. Now it sounds more like video game music again. That's kind of inherent with midis, though. 
Yeah. It's got, it's got some swing, some jazz in there. It's pretty decent. And that's it. That's over. Journey. That wasn't, that wasn't bad. I'm expecting... Yeah, this is totally journey. This one's pretty on point. Pretty on point. Now bring the theme back. Yeah, please, please do. That would be great. Like, it just, it throws it away and does its own journey song. And then it's going to go back to, just right back to Hey Digimon. This is a sad journey song. Yeah, it started off a beat, then kind of got down. Come on, bring it back. Go happy again. Nope, it just went into a journey song. Yeah. Totally independent of uh of Hey Digimon. I journey guess that I guess that goes to Journey's credit that they would not bother to continue with that motif. Yeah, it's just like, wait, we gotta use this motif? Fuck that, we're not using that motif. I'm like, Mozart, he's like, I can't think of anything else, so I'm just gonna repeat this motif over and over again. Of course, Digimon yeah. isn't the best Saturday morning anime intro of all time. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it gonna be Pokemon? Yes. This is also Journey. Alright. Kind of fitting for them. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop singing. You gotta <laughs> stop banging on keys. <laughs> I guess it's better than flatlining. Yeah. It's doing that because the intro to the song just did that the whole time through. Yeah. Which this one had one of the longer intros that I input because I wanted them to have plenty to work with. I understand. Journey doesn't like to go back to the original melody again. No, it's just it's they pro they progress despite the fact that their main, most famous song, "Don't Stop Believing," is still well. No, they didn't actually. They had they stopped with the da 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 da, -da, -da and they didn't really ever go back to that once the song actually kicked into full swing. Are you gonna do AI so, dungeon to these songs? Ah, uh, no, no. It'd be too distracting to try to operate both at once. Uh... Bok Pokemon. <laughs> oh god. Bok yeah. was Baroque. They didn't have piano yet. They used harpsichord. So Except, imagine this on a harps harpsichord. Got yeah. it. I, I think I input uh, guitar to substitute. I don't know how well it'll do it. Let's find out.
It's struggling. Yeah. Oh! What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is more Beethoven. Flatlined again. Yeah. <laughs> this is the funeral dirge. I forget who composed the the intro to Clockwork Orange. It was based off like a, a dirge for Queen Mary or something. I think that's correct. Maybe. I guess once it starts a flat line, and you're told to continue generating, it just keeps it keeps it up. Since, well, obviously you want it, you keep choosing the flat line version. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. I guess it would this... make sense to just kind of. Oh. This this poor violin player is just moving the bow as slowly as possible to keep the noise going as long as possible. <laughs> but what if Pokemon the anime were a video game? Ooh. It was. We called it Pokemon Yellow. This one didn't go up like the other ones did. Yeah. So what video game does this sound like? Sounds like... Hmm. I don't quite know. Went oh, back. <laughs> All right, whatever new video game is on the market, take this. We can't think of any other video game that uses this music. You'd be the first. I guess kind of like low key Sonic. It's just kind of generic rock. Yeah. It's too chill to be Sonic though. Yeah, unless you change the instruments to make it more hardcore. Oh! This is the most variation. Yeah, that was... that was not bad. Certainly was, uh, was interesting. The Darian brought this up earlier. Jack. Have you played Resident Evil? Uh, the original? No, I have played two, though. Are you familiar and with four. the basement track from Resident Evil? Um, basement track. It is legendarily shitty. Right. <laughs> it I, sounds okay. like it was randomly generated before putting it into the random generation. I have to check it out, then. You know what? That's I out. can, uh, here, I, I can... Oh, no, it'll play, play the intro anyway. So I took the start of the Resident Evil basement track, and uh, I let it continue. This is in the style of Beethoven. All right. Oh God, here we go. Oh, this track, yeah. Beethoven, do your best. All right, now what if I just forget the piano and do my own thing? Now it's like an Oktoberfest. <laughs> German, a, a German pro dance track. Oh, this track was in the director's cut version after the original composer was caught plagiarizing. That's not bad, but that's probably mostly Beethoven. Yeah. This doesn't have a lot still in common with the original. It's 
speeding up. Fuck. Oktoberfest is hitting off! <laughs> bad but uh, that was mostly due to beethoven just being like i'm i'm gonna just fuck this track i'm doing something else nope not oh. touching it fuck it we'll do it live bluegrass <laughs> the band is trying to figure out what to do with one another no, I thought you were going out. It's your, it's your cue. <laughs> what the? F da, 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 da. <laughs> it's still just piano. It's like those videos where somebody plays a band live and they they make it so that it's like all fucked up. Like psychosocial, except it's all fucked. Now it's kind of lounge music. Except, just again, just stepping all over each other's toes. <laughs> How to do really shitty jazz. Improvise. That'll go great. Jazz is all about improvisation. You don't need any pre existing musical knowledge, direction. Davis, except everybody's fucking drunk. I don't know how bluegrass this is. But again, without a banjo. Oh, that's it. Let's see how Journey does. Journey. Save it. Save this track. Gerudo Desert for a second there. Hey! <laughs> Look at Gerudo's, uh... This is a nice day in the Gerudo Desert. When everything is, is pleasant, and no one's robbing anyone. Oh. Ganondorf is no longer in power. Oh. We just entered a Gerudo shop. <laughs> it does sound like that. It's even doing Zelda's lullaby. It's <laughs> almost lullaby, except it's jazzy. This just became Zelda. J Journey took the Resident Evil and they t they made Zelda. Hello, Link. See anything you like? I'm a shopkeeper now. I was. I wish. I'm I wish doing community service. Ganon as fisherman would have been great. As fisherman the Ganon. That would have been. Uh, great. That was pretty I good. That was that was pretty good. All three of them. <laughs> the shittier the track, the better it is, I guess. And you know what? That's a perfect segue, because the next one I had was the song of healing. Oh, cool. Disneyfied. Do it. We, we came to Hearts. Yeah. That is good. That is a good. Uh, Way to describe this track. This is a loud one. Yeah. yeah but... Now it's getting sinister. We're getting hints of the darker side of the happy mask salesman. Link, 
the Heartless have corrupted this land of Termina. I, I feel like Static is like going to threaten to sweep it away. Static? Like, I don't know. It feels like there's Static in a second. Oh, that's some dissonance. Listen to that note combination. Yeah. Are we doing the basement track again? <laughs> segue into the basement track. Oh. Yeah, this is what Disney the sounds horror, like. The horror finally came for him. He, the ha salesman opened his eyes. And that's the end of the track. I don't like that. Let's try Sinatra Song of Healing. Yes. down so the singer can come in. These ones are loud, they're bombastic. Yeah, some of you. It's like the band doesn't want to let the singer enter the stage. Fuck They're Frank just going to keep the overture going forever. Frank Sinatra sucks. Frank Sinatra's overrated. overrated. Fuck that guy, we never get any credit. He's a racist, let's not let him perform. Like halfway through, the piano always comes back. And flat line. I like that line. Rip. Call it. What the fuck? And now for something completely different. Okay, it it got it got Sinatra towards the middle a little bit. Uh, yeah, towards towards the middle. Lady Gaga, what can you do with Zelda? It's gonna, be a weird, it's gonna repeat over and over again. Cause that's what sells. You gotta be driving. You gotta be an earworm! What? This is a sad Lady Gaga song about loss and empowerment. He's gonna burst in. No, just, just slow piano. Song of Healing is, is resulting in a lot of dissonance, for some reason. I mean, it was very dissonant. No, it, it wasn't. It was very well harmonized. Huh. The harp likes to stick around. Harp is a very Zelda instrument. Oh, now it's the danceable part of the song. And a flatline. Yeah, flatline. You gotta have a really big finale. Keep that final note held. Da, 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 da. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. Let's do another legendary video game song. Okay, do it. In Broadway okay. style. It's Jack's favorite. <laughs> All hail Shadow! Shadow on Broadway. Obliterating everything that's not your friend. Uh, they're kind of, kind of matching repeating. the original. It is repeating, yes. Yeah, that's why it's matching the original. Well, no, the second. Uh, I don't think the second line 
was included. Like it was just the first bar, but they got the second. Uh. The, they got the second bar right. Yeah, it's it sounds the same, but every verse, more and more people join the join the song. Like people come in from off stage. <laughs> they're walking down the aisles. They're having a blast. It's every Shadow on Broadway. Maria's person. there. And she's dressed like an angel. And what now for something completely different. It, well, hold on. Let's hear that again. Item got. <laughs> this is when he finds Maria and they get into a singing number together. We kept it going a little too long. It started on the next musical number. Let's try Jazz Shadow. Sure. Cut. That's as that's as much intro as it was given. Yeah. Alright, a little improvisation. I got two more songs after Shadow. Alright. A video game track. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I understand Sonic 06 had like five versions of every theme song. Yeah. Except they didn't vary. Well, goddamn. <laughs> this piano player is yeah. kind of a show off. Yeah. Is it. Is it Bach? It's so triumphant now. This is the good ending of Shadow's story. I am Shadow, the ultimate life form, and I will protect the people of this earth. Oh, oh it was getting good. Get off my arc. Now, Bach. This and the Digimon one got repetitive. Yeah. Just imagine bringing Bach to the present day and asking him to compose based on a modern song. He would have no clue what he was doing. <laughs> or he might have some clue what he's doing. Would Bach take a dubstep, you think? Probably not highly. I don't know. <laughs> it was a very different musical scene back in the Baroque era. Hey, this is a synthesizer. What do you think? They didn't even accept, like, drums being in classical composition at the time. That wasn't until swing started to take off that, uh, like, consistent drums came to, into acceptance. Car is there. Yeah. It's not still not very bocky though. Bock bocky? No, that's more, that needs be... more grappling. You should be proud, Bocky. You were named after my least favorite composer. <laughs> <laughs> Yujiro really is a jerk. What's the next track? Here's a request. Uh Darian. Suggested an Iron Maiden song. I knew he liked Iron Maiden, so I asked him for his favorite. This is uh, the clairvoyant in the style of Journey. Okay. I 
watch them just do their own thing as they do. Very slow, this jerk. Oh, there it goes, it's doing something. Journey doesn't usually have songs this fast, so they're a little confused. Yeah, we're, we're supposed to do something this fast. I don't know who the drummer for Journey is, but he's gonna be bedridden after this. <laughs> How do you get Carpal Tunnel in one day? I'm playing this, this track. This Iron Maiden cover. Remix. You can still glean a little bit of Iron Maiden from it. It's not not very Journey. Yeah. Iron Maiden and crossover with Journey, and then that's what you get. Let's see how the Beatles do with Iron Maiden. Like to make an announcement? I have joined the band Iron Maiden. <laughs> Peace and love and shredding. It's fast, but it does have that kind of Beatles tone to it. Yeah, this is a good combination of the two. Yeah. It even went back again. The Beatles jo <laughs> joining Iron Maiden. That, what a timeline. Apparently the lead singer from the Halloween joined Timo Tolki for some of his solo projects. He's got a really good, smooth tenor voice. Ah, they can go up there really high. I, th I thought it'd be like a like a grungy sounding dude. I did not include a Stradivarius song. I didn't have one offhand I could think of to put in. That would be an yeah. obvious choice. All right. Anthem of the world. Yeah. Uh, Disney. Iron Maiden. To see Iron Maiden. Oh, I gotta show you a track after this. There was an Aerosmith coaster at the Disney park. Maybe that was the Epcot Center. I don't recall, actually. What? Apparently the riff is so good, they feel the need to use it. Driving! I just can't wait to be a shredder. <gasps> That's good! <laughs> they're just not doing anything with it, they're just changing, they're changing instruments. It ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, we're in the string section now. And done. It's over. The villain just interrupted the musical. What are you doing? I told you to, I told you not to mess with that rock music. Well, that was an anti-climax. Yeah, it just is like... Well... It was good, getting good, and then... Yeah. 
All right, I got one more song. I didn't do Stradivarius, but I did put in Dragon Force. Except I wanted a little bit more of it, so I sped it up more. <laughs> you sped up Dragon Force? Here's you mad, faster fire and flames in the style of country. Let's see how crazy this gets. It only has acoustic guitar. Oh, this is my favorite country song. Man, I didn't know Garth Brooks could shred like that. <laughs> oh, slow down. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> now it's doing that little, like, uh, Latin guitar... ...finger play. <laughs> this is a Roncar music. Dragon Force does bleach. The guitarist is tired. Let's give him a break. Yeah, he burnt down his energy. All right, he's better now. <laughs> the rock car music actually does work. Like it makes sense. So there's not a electric guitar instrument for a MuseNet. There's just acoustic. All right. So Latin. All right. Still yeah. sounds kind of Dragon Forcey. Not very country, but yeah. Can you imagine Dragon Force covering a country song? <laughs> what <would> they cover? <laughs> country roads. <laughs> it's just be fast. It's just be them shredding because they can't not shred. Wasn't that an episode? That was a, the blues episode of, of Metalocalypse. Squiscar couldn't play slow enough for blues. <laughs> so they put uh, they put uh, concrete blocks on his fingers. <laughs> And then the variant's like, we got the blues, and you know what? We're starting to like it. Let's see how Journey does. Murder Trainer coming up. Journey Force. Journey Force! Yeah. He can't not oh. shred. It's gotta be a series of 64th notes. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> Darian thinks this sounds like Castlevania again. <laughs> that high note, they just keep hitting. No, fuck that. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> and now the part where Journey just does their own thing. We did. We <laughs> Alright, we covered your Dragon Force. We're tired now. <laughs> We're gonna play something simple to play us out. They can't decide when to end it. Are we ending it now? No, no, keep going? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then someone just unplugged the mic. Yeah, just, okay, you're done. Alright. <laughs> Final one. What's Bach, inside? the Shredder. Bach, Does yes. Dragon Force. Oh. No, Box like, no, I like this. I want to do it again. This is not bad, actually. He's taken right to this. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I want to head bang to this music. Bach, Bach was a fat dude, by the way. <laughs> he looked like a trucker, but with one of those pompous wigs. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. oh, he's getting low. Rocking that bass. Oh, did he burn himself out? Oh! 
That sounded a little Iron Maiden. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing now. He's get, he's really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> Fuck! This guy is great. Fuck. Oh. Oh. I was really into it. Like, like he was. He, he, well, he heard it, he's like, "Fuck yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm liking this." Should do the style played by the band, like uh, Journey, in the style of Journey. Yes, we oh. could see how it is able to emulate it, yeah. the band it's supposed to. We're gonna see. We're gonna hear alternate universe Journey. The AI was formed by inputting a bunch of uh, midis from that group or that style, so that might yeah. be pretty accurate. I don't know. It's cleaner. It, it would be cleaner if be, uh, than like MP3. At the very least. So. Maybe, maybe if we do that again, or maybe if we do it in the background or something. I don't know. We'll find out if we want to uh, explore this further. Jack, I liked it. Jack I didn't get it. to make any. He couldn't yeah, get the I'm, website working. I'll, I'm, I'll get it working again. I'll hit that uh, set that 25% uh, success rate. That was fun, though. Yeah, we got something else. Interesting right, uh, tonight, experiment. So. Yes, that's just the end of the MuseNet stream, but uh, stick around. We are going to try a little bit of GeoGuessr. Geo. The Google Guesser. Maps game. It's it's yes. an educational game. It, it's what Twitch says. That's what it's tagged as. Educational. We're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna get that education money. That's right. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 